A crash on 275 sends two women and a child to the hospital and shuts down the highway for hours. Here's a live look. 275, you can see the flashing lights here. That westbound traffic, still all lanes are blocked and everyone is being forced off at that Loveland Indian Hill exit. Now, right now, Roseanne Aragon, she has been on the scene all evening for us. She joins us from the latest from the scene. And, and Roseanne, what are they working on now? Allie, Hamilton County deputies have shut down I-275 westbound for more than two hours to examine two mangled cars. This is the chilling scene deputies responded to around 7, a two-car accident. Upon arrival, it turned out that there was a vehicle that was mechanically disabled in the right-hand lane. Another vehicle was changing lanes and struck the rear end of that vehicle. Deputies say this was the car which was on the shoulder inside a woman and child. Witnesses told police they saw that woman get out of the car. That's when a woman driving this Volkswagen changed lanes and hit them, sending this car flying. They're taking measurements to try to determine things like speed and what happened with the vehicle crash. Meanwhile, I-275 westbound near exit 52 was shut down. All three involved in the accident were taken to the hospital. Deputies are now offering some advice for those who must pull over. Stay in your car. The worst thing that you can do is get out of a car. At least inside the car, you have some kind of protection from oncoming traffic. If you're outside, it's just you. Now, the two women and child were taken by ambulance to Bethesda North Hospital. Deputies say they all had non-life-threatening injuries. Reporting live, Roseanne Aragon, 9, on your side.